was looking at some property on Zillow recently and they often report the lot size in terms of square feet. I grew up on a southern Illinois farm and think of land in terms of acres. So I want to know what size of an acre is that lot. So it seemed like a perfect opportunity to create an app in which the user could enter a lot size, click the button to show acre size, and it tells me that that is 30.96% of an acre. Now, if I have a really large size, let's make this, instead of 1346, let's make this 9346. So if it's more than an acre, the output will show how many acres it is, 2.15 acres. And I see a lot of lots that are about 5,800 square feet, and that's 13.31% of an acre. So here's your design challenge. I'd like you to replicate this app. So pause the video here, try this on your own, come back, and I will show you my solution. But a couple of tips here. We've got this app basically uses labels. So we got one, two, three, four labels. I've got an entry and a button. These are all inside of a vertical stack layout. And this, to get the label and the entry side by side, is in a nested horizontal stack layout. Here then is my solution to the lot size project challenge. And I began by creating a new class file by, and I'm, the, I'm on the Mac, but I'm gonna control click on my solution and choose add new class. You can right click on your solution in Windows. I want to go to the .NET MAUI and choose a content page XAML class and I named mine lot size. Click create. So then I have a lot size XAML and a lot size XAML.cs in my Solution Explorer. Let's take a look at the lot size XAML for our interface. So I modified the default page there, which has a vertical stack layout and a button. Maintain the vertical stack layout. I set the spacing at 25. That's gonna give us some spacing between each of those items. And while I often pad at 20, I just, since there's not a whole lot of content on this page, I decided to pad at 30 left and right. So zero top and bottom. If you wanted to do 30 all the way around, you could say padding 30. Vertical options I have started from the top and horizontal options I'm gonna center it on the page. Then I have a label. This is my title, property lot size. I used a font size of title, a font family of Arial Black, and vertical options, I want to center that. I set the color to a dark olive green. You can use whatever color you like. Horizontal options are center. And then I did a 50 pixel margin at the top just to pull that down. Now, since I put 30 up here on top, I could potentially maybe just make that 20. Then I have another label and I called this one LDL about. And for text, I just put a note here that I'm gonna alter this at loading. Font size is medium, font family Arial, font attributes are bold, vertical option center, made it green. And I wanna set the max lines to five. Remember, this is, a, this is kind of a paragraph of text. Then I created a horizontal stack layout, set the op horizontal options to center, and padded it 10 on the left and right and 20 at the top and bottom. It contains a label with the text enter square feet. Vertical options are center. I gave it five on the right margin just to put a little space between it and the entry that comes after it and set the font size to medium. Then I have an entry. This is the view that the user will enter into. I named it lot size entry. So again, with that X colon name with a capital N. So if we refer to this in code, just as we did up here on our label, Background color, I gave it a light goldenrod yellow, font size medium. I made the width request 100. And since there's nothing in there to start with the text, that'll make sure it doesn't just collapse on itself. It gives a really narrow entry. In my horizontal stack layout, then I have a button. 
Text show acre size. Background color did dark olive green to match the title. Text color white and the clicked event of show acre size, which we'll need to code in the C sharp code behind. And then a label also with the name of LBL output. Font size is medium, fine attributes bold, horizontal options center. Text color, I just made it dark red. Gave it two max lines in case it needed to wrap. And set the text to enter square feet and press the button. Gave, it. gave them some, some instructions that will be replaced with our output. That ends my vertical stack layout, ends the content page. So the C-sharp code behind, I added after the initialize component on our constructor, which is basically loading the content, LBL about dot text equals, and then my paragraph, there are 43,560 square feet in an acre. This app will calculate a given lot size as being percentage of an acre or the number of acres. So we had our clicked event of show acre size need to code that. So private void show acre size, object center, event args, args. I created a double variable called lot feet, set equal to zero. I created a constant double of acre equals 43,560 and double, double of acre size. So if I'm going to parse that, that entry text, lot size entry dot text, I'm going to parse that out into my lot feet variable, which can be a double value. So it's double dot try parse. Acre size equals the lot feet divided by the constant of acre. And then my output, LBL output dot text equals, and I use the ternary here. I'm going to look at the lot feet and see if it's less than 43,560. It's less than an acre. And if it is, if it's true, the question mark, acre size dot two string. I'm going to do that as a percentage of two decimals plus of an acre. That's going to be my output. So it could be 30.65% of an acre. If the lot size or the, if the lot feet is 43.560 or greater, it's going to do the false statement, which is our colon here. Acre size dot two string. I'm going to to two decimal places and concatenate the word acres there. Now, I like to use ternary statements. Maybe you don't, maybe you prefer to use the if, else, if. And so I did an alternative here, basically the same thing written out as an if, else, if. So if lot feet's less than 43,560, our output's gonna be acre size dot two string as a percentage to two decimals of an acre. Otherwise, it'll be acre size dot two string to two decimals and concatenating acres. If we can't parse this value, assume they don't put in a positive number or put in text or something, then I've got an else fork here, it'll be all output dot text. It appears your lot size entry is not numeric, fix and try again. That's our code. One more thing we still need to do is tell Visual Studio that we want to launch our app using the lot size page rather than the main page. I'm going to go to the app .xaml.cs file, comment out the main page equals new app shell, and replace that with main page equals new lot size. Since we're calling the constructor, be sure to put the parentheses after that. And then we can test our application. So again, if I, if I put in something that is maybe null, I get that appears your lot size entry is not numeric, fix and try again. If I put in a small value, 6,000, I'm going to get that percentage of an acre. But if it's a larger value, I'll get the number of acres to two decimals. I hope you had fun with that project and are now confident in moving on to learning more about .NET MAUI app development. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET MAUI practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.